So welcome to Blog Talk Radio. This is one of my favorite spaces. And as you can see, it's active, right? It's not a passive space. So Blog Talk Radio is broken into segments. And here you can see what some of those segments are. And if you want to hear something about business, you click business. And it brings you to all these great podcasts. And it'll let you, so it shows some chosen podcasts featured. And then you can actually break it into other segments. So let's look at entrepreneur. And then here we are, right? We've got some other categories. And we've got some really great entrepreneurial uh, podcasts. And what I like to call Blog Talk Radio is the YouTube of podcast spaces. So let's go back to the Blog Talk Radio homepage. And what my intention is this evening is to actually take you into the back end of Blog Talk Radio and show you how you would set up a channel and how you would create a podcast. So we're going to do that backward. What I'm going to do first is show you how you would create a podcast, because it's easier for me to show you. I can actually log in as myself or one of my clients and show you what those podcast setup pages look like. So for a quick moment while we're here, I just want to talk about why podcasting is valuable. Many of you have heard me speak on stage, and I talk about the value of podcasting as opposed to video. Video is awesome. If you can start with video, do that instead, because it is your best ambassador. But for any number of reasons, video may not be right for some of us. It's very often, not even sometimes, very often it comes down to a confidence issue and feeling that we're not attractive enough or poised enough to create video. I would challenge you to challenge that and to do it anyway. But the other win of podcast, besides the fact that it doesn't create the nervousness and you know hit our lack of confidence, sometimes well into our 40s, 50s, and 60s, you know, podcast doesn't need a screen. So the podcast asset number one is that people can listen to it on the go in places where a screen would not be ideal. Can you think of a few like driving the car, right? But other spaces too, like working out or running or grocery shopping or cooking in the house. I'll put podcasts on from Blog Talk Radio and I'll learn so much. I'll learn something about family or education or health or life, right? So all of these little areas that I'm showing you are amazing podcasts, sometimes by industry experts. So we can go in here and we can actually do a search and see who may have done podcasts that we like. Now I'm just guessing, I haven't actually searched, but let's try Jack Canfield because I think Mr. Canfield being such a generous guy, I was his uh, social person for quite a while, and I would bet, there we go, we can see some great conversations with Jack Canfield done here on podcast Blog Talk Radio. I think even President Obama did a podcast on Blog Talk Radio with somebody. But for political divisive reasons, I will not look that up. I know some of you aren't fans and some of you are. I'm just talking about the level of leadership that shows up in podcasts and often specifically through Blog Talk Radio because it's a very popular space. So there's the one huge asset is you don't need a screen. The other, the number two huge asset of Blog Talk Radio is that people will stay here for longer. That's right, people come on and they stay longer than video. So what's happened in video is that we've been trained by the media to look for our news in three to four minute sound bites. Right? So even if you've ever been interviewed on TV, you know what happens. They want your three top tips and you're off. So three to four minutes and they've moved on to the next story. No matter how big the story, we've been trained to do that. In radio and podcast, we've really been trained to settle in, grab a cup of tea, and expect a 20 or 30 minute audio. And we'll listen and relax without the visual distractions that happen in YouTube and on video. Even in YouTube, you'll see massive distractions off to the left or right of what you're watching. You'll even see distractions come right onto the screen in the way of advertisements. So YouTube's goal is to get you to click away <laughs> and watch something else. You know, their best um, client is somebody who's going to click into those ads. So the ads are getting ever more compelling. And they're, sometimes they're worth clicking away to. But in blog talk radio, that does not happen. This is a space where people settle in with the intention of listening. So let me log in and show you what it looks like to set up a blog talk radio class. So there's 
several clients that I work with who do live blog talk radio shows. And this one is led by Kelly Richards, who is a wonderful client of mine. And you can see that she has a great profile, right? We can see it. So this is, I'm just going to go through the drop down with you quickly, then I'll show you her profile. I'll show you how to set up a class and what a class sounds like. Oh, well, I call them a class, but um, a podcast, right? I use Blog Talk Radio to teach my classes much of the time. So we'll talk about all those things and very quickly. I know I talk really fast. I'm from New York, but part of that is because I value your time and I want to get us on and off in 30 minutes. You can always come back and listen to this again. I'll get the recording out by Friday. So this is the drop-down menu. So over here, we just hover over her picture. And over here, if we clicked, we would go to her profile. Here is where you would schedule a new episode of podcast. You would go to your studio to run a show. And you want to do that if you're going to have guests. Her account. Reporting, that's where you find the metrics and how successful you are and listens and where your listeners are coming from. It's a great reporting. I'll show you that. Settings, that's for her actual channel. Messages, yes, it has an inbox. That's why this is considered a social network. In my class, we consider any social platform that can accept or offer messaging a social platform. So this is a social network, and so is YouTube, because you can get comments and inbox messages on YouTube, and then help and support and premium services. So let's just take a look at her channel for a minute so you can see from the outside what it looks like. So her channel is blogtalkradio.com slash allaccessradio. And here it is. Here's a little description of her show. Let's get the drop down so you can see it. Each week, Kelly Richards interviews artists, friends, industry leaders, and innovators. She's a catalyst and change agent in the world of digital music and entertainment. Tune, out, she, tune in as she shares her journey and interviews artists, celebrities, and friends. Now, that's about all the space you have for that little short description. But we've done a good job with that. What we've done is position her as a leader who has celebrities, artists, and friends in very high spaces. And we can follow her. We can message her. So you can see that it's very much a social network. And as we scroll down, we can see that there's a featured episode. We chose to feature it, Tommy Boy's CEO. The upcoming interview is Zach Zalon. That's this coming Monday night. Every Monday night, these sort for Kelly. I'm um, sorry. Every Monday night, we do a live show. Whether, uh, whether it's live or not, sometimes we broadcast a recording as live, which you can do. So this is how you sort them. I always want to sort them newest first. But if you were going to have your guest's name first, you would want to do last name, first name, you could sort by title. In Kelly's case, I actually put these audios on her website. So let me show you what this looks like. I take all of these blog talk radios. I drop them as MP3s. I edit off blog talk radios branding. But you don't even have to do that much. And then I load them to a channel on her website in resources, and over here is where they are alphabetically listed. And the reason I do this is to drive traffic to her website and not just to her blog talk radio page. So here it is. All of these great audio interviews, which are listed here in date order, over here they're listed alphabetically. So you can see why I would drive traffic to her website for this. Look how long the interviews are, 38 minutes, 37 minutes. Um, a few of them are zeros because those people are on her best of all access radio, which is a CD set that she sells with 10 of these best interviews, which used to be available here for free. We're now selling them. So this is what I call the trifecta of social media. I just want to see how many of us are on here. Well, great. So the trifecta of social media is A, does it create content? B, does it build your audience? And C, does it elevate your brand? Creating content rocks. You definitely want to be creating content and doing a great job with that. If you create content, not only can you put it on your website, but you can also, ding, 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 you can sell it. So that's what that looks like. Look what we did. We edited the audios, and we put them up on Audible, which is Amazon's audio book space. And you can buy this. You can buy it for the nifty little fee of 
awesome, right? I mean, a great thing to do. So let's just look at one specifically. Let's look at Carol Pepper. I loved this interview. This is a great interview for you to come back to. So here's the description of her interview with Carol Pepper. And here are the tags. And it would start, you know, first it gives us an ad. So for 30 seconds, let's see, I'm going to actually click away because I don't want you to have to listen to the ad. But you'll listen to the ad and then it'll launch into the interview with Carol Pepper. So that's what the channel looks like from the front end as if you were a guest. Let me go up to the top and let you see it as if we were Kelly. So let's click schedule an episode. What does this look like when you want to set up an upcoming interview with somebody else or just you reading your book or your story or talking about your background into Blog Talk Radio? So first of all, here's an upcoming show. So this is what it would look like. Let's say edit so you can see what it looks like all filled out. You would add the title, Kelly Richards interviews Zach Ceylon, a little description, right? So here's Zach and a little a link over to Kelly's website. And then you add five tags. If you only add four, the system will stop you. We classify her stuff as music always because that's where her audience is. It's visible to everyone, but if I made this private, then for instance, when I teach this class tonight, only you guys who signed up in theory may be paid and had the link to this class would have access to it. So right now, I would click everyone and everybody can see this podcast class. We set the time, we set the date, we load five pictures, we click select, and you actually would just choose them right from your hard drive. So you choose a picture and then you load it in there. So as you can see, there's five pictures loaded here. So what does this look like when you're on the outside looking in? So here it is. Here's Kelly interviews Zach Zalon. Here's the description, the tags. And this is going to flow through the five pictures. So if it were live, this picture of Kelly, and then there will be four more pictures that we loaded, actually, of Zach Zalon. So anybody, there they go. You can see them rotating through now. So anybody that Kelly's interviewing, one of the huge wins of an interview-based blog talk radio show, a podcast show, is that you share the stage with leaders and experts who also have a following. If Kelly interviewed Jack Canfield, don't you think we'd get a few of Jack Canfield's fans to say, wow, I love that show, and then they'd want to follow you. So they can actually decide, where is it? Well, here they can remind themselves to see the show. They can like the show. Then it shows up on their Facebook page. They can tweet the show, Pinterest the show, LinkedIn the show. I mean, they can do any number of things. And somewhere, I guess because I already followed Kelly, you won't see it, but they can follow Kelly and become part of her social following through Blog Talk Radio. So let me tell you what this does. The win of gathering some of Zach's audience is pretty obvious. That's a win. The biggest win here is that the guests on Kelly's shows developed a great intimate relationship with her, and she's done tons of deals with the people who've been interviewed. So let's go back and let's take a look at who some of those people are just so you get the impact of this. So if I click over her face, right, and I click there, it's going to take me back to her channel, and we're going to scroll down and see if you wouldn't like to do business with some of these people. This interview with Alex Boguski, one of the best interviews I've ever heard in my life, definitely worth doing. Kip Winger, he's the lead singer from the band Winger from the 80s, great person. Alex Rodich, band's in town. So if you know the tech and music space, these are fantastic leaders in that space and anybody would want to do business with them. So I would love you to think about who Mike Keenings, right? Mike Keenings is an awesome, the highest paid marketer in the internet history. Uh, so these are all fantastic people that she has grown great intimate relationships with just by having an interview. It's amazing what happens in a little tete-a-tete, -tete, right? So that's the how you set up a show. Let me show you the back end. Now, if you're just going to call in yourself, all you do is you call into your host number here and the PIN, and that's how you lead the show. So if you're not going to have any guests, right over here we see callers. That's where your guest would call in. But if you're not going to have any of those, then you're just going to call in as host, call in with the PIN, 
and you could actually just start talking and everyone can hear you on Blog Talk Radio. If you're going to have a guest or take Q&A, you want to have the switchboard open. So what I'm trying to say is you don't even have to be in front of a computer. Once this is set up, at the appointed time, you can just call in and lead your show from the beach. I've literally done it from the beach in Atlantic City. I don't have to be in front of a computer and open the studio. If I call in, it just automatically starts broadcasting. But if you have a guest, you do have to be in front of the screen to open their line, right? We would see here a caller. We would click open their line. Or if you're going to do Q&A, like I'm going to do with you guys in five minutes, then you would want to open the Q&A lines. A person can actually raise their hand. And we don't have any callers here because we're not on the Blog Talk Radio system. We're on GoToMeeting, right? But if we had them here, you would be able to see hands raised. And you could say, hey, caller from the 415 area code, you, I see you have a question. Your line is open. And it's just like running a radio show, believe it or not, but this is streaming radio. So another asset of running a streaming radio show, Blog Talk Radio podcast, is that it creates an online on-demand library. So these are all available all the time, nine pages of these. She's done this interview show for over two years. So she's got tons and tons of content. Let's look on her website. Because I would love to show you what this looks like on her website and how many interviews she's done. So this is really wacky. She's got interviews that are just pages and pages and pages, of seven pages times whatever it is, eight or nine views. So she's got this massive library of downloadable content. People can also download it from here on this page. They don't all, all have to go over to Blog Talk Radio to download it. So when we're post-production marketing these interviews, I never send them to BTR, short for Black Talk Radio, of course. I always send them to Kelly's website to get the traffic. Wouldn't you like traffic that came to your website and stayed for 48 minutes? It literally disappears your bounce rate. So if you ever go for funding for projects, like I have a wonderful friend, um, Mary Ellen Holden Musser. She's going to write some great books on homeschool versus public school versus private school. This is her profound area of expertise, and we're all going to watch for those. And when she does that, wouldn't it be great if she had interviews with industry leaders, fabulous teachers, leaders in education for 48 minutes? Then a year later, when she went for funding on the next project, they would look at her website traffic and see that while she may not have 100,000 visitors, visitors, visitors came and stayed for an average of 30 or 40 minutes. That says a lot about her impact on her audience. So that is a great reason to do this. I wanted to show you what the reporting looks like, and then we'll move into some Q&A. Oh, and I want to talk to you about what it costs. It's really inexpensive. But you can see that she's had a steady drop off this year. And it doesn't speak to the quality of her recordings or anything. What it speaks to is our, the efficacy with which we send people to her website now. So her website was in development on February. Um, that's why you see this big peak here, because her website was being revised and moved to a different server. So we consistently send people here for that little window of time. And now we send them all to her website. But even so, even here on Blog Talk Radio, you can see that this show has been downloaded 1,300 times. If we were to look at, um, let's look at CFO report. So let's scroll down. I would like to see um, older pages. So let's go to the very last page. No, I don't really want to go to the last page. Here, what I want to do is get to, here we go. So you can see that some of these interviews are 762, um, 135. Now don't forget, we don't send people to this space. So these are random listeners who are finding her interviews. But what you'll see is some of these have massive amounts of listens. So let me see if I can get to some of those. Just before we started realizing, here we go. Dave Jaworski of Next Steps, we started really like, we really need to be sending this to her website instead of off to the universe, right? Off to Blog Talk Radio. So here's the cool thing. We can also see how many people listened via their smartphone. This is Blog Talk Radio's, um, I'm sorry, I can't think of the word. It's their measurable space. This is their reporting space. Metrics, that's the word I was looking for. So this is Blog Talk Radio's own metrics. 
So we can go to, we can return to all, we can choose any one of these interviews. Let's look at Judy Robinette. And Judy Robinette, we can see that all of them came in through the internet browser. But a few came from iTunes, right, three. And one came in by smartphone. So you also get to learn a lot about your audience if you want to be this sophisticated about it. So let me just go back and I want to show you premium services. Now we don't get any commission on this. I don't work for Blog Talk Radio. But it's free. The good news is that you can actually set all of this up for free. It's literally, you can do a 30 minute show every single day at no cost, zero. But I prefer to spend the very minimum cost after free, right, minimum would be free, but premium is $39 a month. And if you even go to do that, you can get a free trial. And if you enter, I think it's Upon 50. Um, Upon 50, uh, you will get, I think it's 20% off of that. So it's even less than $40. This is the best $480 I spend any given year. And the reason is this. Let me show you something. And then I'm going to go to Q&A. But once you spend the premium, you can do longer shows, right? You can do an hour-long show, which in the free version you won't do. You'll only get this 30 minutes a show. But you can do up to 120 minutes for $30 a month with your little Upon 50 discount. But the other thing is you can run a private show, right? I showed you where this is public. You will only get public, not private shows, if you go for the free version. Private shows, I can teach webinar, um, teleseminars in this space at no cost. So that's a really solid win. And then the third thing that I can do as a paid member that you can do as a free member is click here to upload an episode from your computer or import from an RSS feed. What that means is I can load existing audio. So I can say I'd like to load a file from my PC. I can open it up and I can load an MP3 from some other space. I can load an MP3 that I've already created into Blog Talk Radio and run it as a live show. So that's a little bit sophisticated. If any of you go and do that, talk to me first. But I just wanted to say that that is definitely worth having if you've already got audio content created that you would like to use in your podcast show. So this is one of my favorite spaces. It is very worthwhile doing for writers of any kind. I'm just flipping around to show you a few things, but you know, very quickly, let's go back to her channel. I do show this with her permission tonight. She's been awesome about letting me do that. And I'm going to open up the line now for questions so I can actually show you on my screen and answer your questions. That is the most effective way to teach this class, I think. So I've unmuted you all. Let me unmute you all. And if it's quiet enough, we'll be able to do this. So do any of you have any questions? Can I, I see there's one in the chat. This is so awesome. Oh, yeah. Right? All right. So one of you is in a car, and I can hear all the traffic. If you would mute your phone, I can leave everybody else is open. But do you guys have any questions? I can ask you. Mary Agnes? Yes. Um, one question that I have is that, um, you know, for writers like me who are just sort of in the very early stages of writing a book, for example, at what yes. point yes. would it be useful to go from website to blog talk radio? You know, at what point do you sort of launch that? So I actually, in my writing process now, I actually, instead of using Dragon or one of those converters, I'll start my books in podcast, and then I'll send them to be transcribed, or sometimes I'll play the podcast right into Dragon. And the reason is that it's building audience and brand while you're writing the book if you write from spoken word. So in that case, the answer is start right away and just start your writing process from here in podcast because it's just such a solid win. It's content. So not only are you writing your book, you're also writing your audio book, right? And it's audience building and it's brand elevating. So for you, this is a solid win, Mary Ellen, definitely. Thanks, Mary Ellen. Sure.
Anybody else have a question or two? Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the line open so if anybody has a question, you can jump in. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to log out, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up a channel with Blog Talk Radio. We have five minutes, so I can actually talk a little slower, which is good. So I'm going to log in. Oh, wait, I don't want to log in. Sorry. I want to click Sign Up. Stay with me a sec. So here we go. Sign Up. And this is what it looks like. So it's going to try and sign me up into Premium right away. That's their goal, right? Just scroll down and click Free. And then hit Continue. And then this is all you do. You're going to like add an email, add a few little words, and, and it's so easy. So I'm just going to add an email where I don't have a channel. Oh, sorry. I'm doing the wrong thing here. Duh. Okay, there's my email. So I'm going to pick a username. So I'm going to say Viral Integrity, just because I think it'll probably be so, be free. And then a password. And then a show title. So a show title is different than your username. What would my show title be? I might have social media cells. And then a little bit of a description, profiling, social spaces, right? I'm just going to fill these in with the fewest words so I don't bore you all to death. My title, of course, would be marketing, right, my category. And then I click continue. And it's pretty much that easy. And then I have to go in and I have to confirm it. So I would open my email address, and I would wait for the confirmation to come in. And then I'll actually show you what the settings look like and how to set it up. Basically, it's just add a few sentences, choose your categories, and add a picture. It's that easy. Oh, heaven, of course, I'm teaching a class, so everything's going to take a little time to open. But I'm really excited for all the projects you're all working on. While this opens, I'll just say, like, it's really inspiring to work especially with great writers. Great writers are like the air I breathe <laughs> because I don't write books, right? Everybody knows my story that, you know, I don't have the tenacity or the wherewithal. Writing a book takes a wherewithal. A writing a book. Oh, dear. Well, anyway, that's what would happen is you would confirm it, and then it will bring you back confirm in, it. and all you'll do, I'm going to actually log in to my real account so I can show you where those settings are rather than delay you all. So my real account is under my maiden name, Vitell. And if I go to settings, this is what you're going to set up with your own show. You're going to answer those five questions I just answered, your email, your first name, a name. And then over here, you're going to come in, and you're just going to enter your contact information, which is so easy. You can add your social buttons, right, so people can find you in all spaces. On your page, you're going to add you know, any number of criteria that you want to add. You can add the HTML code from a video, believe it or not. Okay, this is how robust the space is. But the most important thing you're going to do is choose your category. So it's a little hard to find some of these things, but hmm, you know, like Facebook, here it is, categories. So over here, you're just going to choose your category, and that's it. Click Save All. And in about five minutes, at no cost, you have set up Blog Talk Radio. And what I was explaining to Mary Ellen, she was saying, at what point does she start this? And what I suggested to her was that she actually, instead of typing or handwriting her, if any of us write pen to page anymore, that she call in all on her own. It's like set up a little channel, like a little uh, time, right? She's going to schedule an episode, and she's going to call in at that time, right? And she's going to teach a little blog and talk radio class or read her book. I'm going to mute you guys. Hold on a sec. Sorry. I'll mute all. OK. So what that means is that Mary Ellen would read in the chapter of her book that she's working on. And then she would play the podcast and record it right off of her blog talk radio channel. She would just play it and record it into her Dragon, Speak Easy, or whatever platform she uses for transcribing. And then she's got that audio book, the written book. She's building her audience. Like, you all get that, right? This is why this is such a vibrant and versatile, useful space, because it's that trifecta. It's content, audience, and brand elevating. 
So that's it, you guys. We are at the 9.30 mark. I can't believe it, but we hit everything. That's exactly what I wanted to teach you guys. So um, let's see. Oh, I see Alan saying this isn't the best medium for him because he does wood turning. Yeah, I mean, some of you, look, uh, not even some of you, I'm just going to say, if you have the opportunity, video is the best space for every one of you. Why? Because you are your own best ambassador in video. And likewise to what I just said about Blog Talk Radio, you can get your videos transcribed or run them to your Dragon or other transcriber yourself. And in that space, you've done the same thing. You've created a video, your own best ambassador, you, an audio, the written transcribed word, audience building, brand elevating. I mean, video is really the place to start. But I just want to say that audio has those two assets we talked about, where you can have your audience for longer, and you can have them uh, not distracted by other spaces, and there was a third. Oh, they don't need a screen in front of them. So that's the, the big win. Dara, you're so welcome. Uh, one of you is thanking me in the chat. So you're definitely welcome. And you know, if any of you have follow-up questions, um, I am here. Oh, thank you so much. I would love to. So I'm just going to tell you all. Dara is from wavecloud.com. And I would love you all to check out wavecloud.com. They don't sponsor me, nothing like that. But every once in a while, I'll share um, one of you and and the projects you're working on to inspire you all. And um, this class originally started for the authors for Rainbows and Cobwebs. And Rainbows and Cobwebs is a collaborative work of 60 authors. And the only thing I ask in return for taking this class for free is that when the book comes out, you will all lay your lives down to support the book launch. <laughs> OK, no, you don't have to lay your lives down. But if you would give us a great video testimonial, you will love that book. And if you would support our launch, it will mean so much to me. The launch isn't at least for another month or two. And um, I'll give you all plenty of notice. I'm very, very grateful for your time this evening. I really respect the work that you're all doing. Oh, the book is Rainbows in Cobwebs. Rainbows in cobwebs. Any of you who come to New York, please look me up. Here's my cell phone number. And please, if you have questions about social media, I am always happy to answer them. Text or email is easier. I think all of you have my email. But in case you don't, it's Mary Agnes at Viral, viral Integrity. Dot com. Um, and then at viralintegrity.com, you have my cell phone. And I am enormously committed to this project of teaching social media for free to my audience. So I'm very grateful for your time. I'm going to end the class. Let me just get um, everybody's information here. OK. Uh, most of you I know and love. So please feel free to share this class with others. There's a paid version of this class that at the end of eight weeks I tell you about. My goal is to teach so much so effectively that none of you have to pay to take that class. Do you hear me? <laughs> so I teach one that's got coaching. You know, I do some one-on-one -on -one time with all of you around strategy. But my goal in this free class is to do it so well that none of you guys need it. So none of you need the paid version of it. So I send my deep appreciation, great love. I'm going to end our class now. And I will see you all next Wednesday. So next Wednesday, we're going to teach LinkedIn. And that is a great space. That is where, I'm sorry to say it like this, but that's where the money is. That's where we find sponsors. That's where we find paid people to take our uh, paid things, our classes, our consulting to support our book launches. That is where the paying audience still lives. So we're going to teach that next week, advanced use on LinkedIn and how to set up your profile. All right, everybody, have an awesome evening. And thanks again for your time. Bye-bye.